We're joined today by Pocket Vinyl. As you can see, this is a little bit of an unusual setup compared to what we usually have at Live Lunch. Eric here is going to play the piano, and Elizabeth is going to create a painting live in studio. Um, and if you're interested in purchasing her painting, we're going to auction it off during the show. Um, if you want to send us a bid, you can email us at livemusicattheday.com, or you've got a chat button on screen somewhere down in, in this vicinity. <laughs> you can hit the uh, chat button and <laughs> send in a bid. And uh, take it away, guys. Okay. <laughs> Thank you very much. Hello, internet audience. I uh, assume you guys usually get around a million hits for these things. So, hello, how you doing? I understand this is a very popular show in South America. So, uh, for all you uh, South Americans out there, thank you very much for tuning in. I really appreciate it. This first song we're going to play is called Four Legs Good, Two Legs Better. And if you've read the book Animal Farm, it's about that. Thank you, everybody. Thank you so much. That's, please, you're too kind. <laughs> oh. 
I can hear you clapping from home. Thank you very much to do that too. Um, we're gonna play one more song now before a little ad break, and it's called My Brother's Time. In the sunshine that's intrinsically contemplating all the plots that block it from the end. And if they're too and it purposefully. But my favorite weather has always been before it is storming. Oh, I don't think it's possible to live up a this time. and the possibilities for your home, yard, heart, and soul. Come to Farms and see what we're building for you. Offshore, out in the sound, your island getaway awaits. Yes, Block Island beckons. With so much to do and see, a Block Island getaway is now closer than ever. Ride the high-speed Block Island Express from New London on one of four daily departures. Where an island escape is yours at GoBlockIsland.com. That's GoBlockIsland.com. So by doing the house and trade-in, you know that we use that towards our, our down payment towards this um, condo, and uh, it made life so much easier for us. Um, it took all the worry out of everything. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Thanks for joining us here on Live Lunch Break. We're uh, here live in the day's studio with Eric and Elizabeth from Pocket Vinyl. And um, before we get to any of my questions for you guys, Phil is watching online and wants to know if Eric ever hits his head with the microphone. <laughs> I, hello, Phil. I have hit my head with the microphone a few times. I used to completely stop, like if I'd be playing and then... <laughs> 
<laughs> oh, my piano is acting weird. If I'd be playing and like hit it, and then I'd just be like, ah, and, and it would mess up the whole performance. But I've gotten rather good at just trying to assume that no one saw it and keep going. And pretend it's part of the show. So <laughs> it still might happen sometime later. So keep a sharp eye, Phil. All right, so you guys have been doing this for a little while, and I think you've established a, uh, a pretty good reputation around here. But what I was wondering is, when you first got started in this, like, <coughs> what did you have to do to, to sell yourself to book shows? Like, did you, you know, were you trying to book shows at, at clubs, and you're like, yeah, we're going to play piano and paint, and did you get, like, a funny look? Or, or, um. were, people, or were people into it from the beginning? Um, I would say a lot of people, we haven't had too many people turn us down. We have a lot of people who are like, wow, that's weird, I've never heard of it before, but yeah, it might work. We play like all kinds of places too, we play like DIY spaces, art galleries, biker bars. Basements. <laughs> yeah, we open for a hardcore show, like people are just willing to That'll see work. what happens. Yeah. yeah, we've gotten, it's been a surprising amount of uh, like interest, and I feel like from talking with other bands, it sounds like, and I think it's completely the painting thing, um, gets us more responses from venues because it's, I guess it's just something a little different. So uh, yeah, no, it's definitely helped us out like loads. Yeah. And so before this project, you were in another band with some of the people who um, you've been recording with. <laughs> and so how did, how did this all com come about? Like uh, you guys are married. Yeah. Um, so. Would you guys, did your relationship come first and then you were like, hey, let's collaborate artistically? Or like, how did that happen? We happened to be on the same stage at the same time. And no, we, <laughs> <laughs> um, I would say they both kind of happened at the same time. Like we started getting into a relationship together and while that was happening, we we're also talking about, hey, I don't do anything musical, but I can paint. Maybe I can bring something to the show. Right. Also, shout out to our favorite band, well, one of our favorite bands, Cloud Cult, which we, I mean, unshamefully, almost stole this idea from them. They have like a full band and two painters and stuff. But uh, when we were starting to go out and we kind of came up with this, it was around the same time that the other guys who I worked with on all the records, um, and they, they still, they're, they're part of the, I call it part of the studio band still. Um, they, you know, were getting in relationships and married. One of them has a kid now. Uh, and so it just became obvious that going with the band. Plus with the two of us and like, um, with the, the painting, selling every time stuff, like this, if we were a full band, if we had other musicians, we could not do this full time, like how we do it now. So it's kind of been, uh, oh, should I be talking closer? <laughs> you told me it's, um, I, can, I can hear you just fine. I, we can check with Alex. Behind. Is it okay? Has, should I be closer? All right, we're cool. Alex, we're good. Alex gives us the two thumbs up. Um, so you guys, we're going to go into a couple more songs. Um, and. Everyone who's watching, you can see the painting in progress. If you like what you see, you can place a bid on our live chat silent auction. Just hit the chat button down at the, at the bottom of the video player, and uh, we will uh, try to contact our winning bidder and arrange for them to get with us and, and get the painting. Awesome. Great. Um, and so what do you got next for us? Uh, <laughs> Save your dream. A so no, a song called Don't. Oh, don't. Yeah, oh we're in the second one. <laughs> oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. We have, it's fine. It's okay. All right, so this song is called Don't. It, it, there's no full band recording of it. Uh, these next two songs actually are kind of, we're, 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 they're newer. <laughs> Can we go? Yeah. Oh, okay.
backlash must be frustrating. Thank you. That's looking wonderful. Okay. Um, fun fact, bats, when they leave their cave, always turn to the left. That is very true of every species of bat. <coughs> this next song is called Death Anxiety. I, it's, a, 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 again, like we said earlier, a newer song. Uh, I may fub up, but... Uh, if I do, you probably may not notice because <laughs> you don't know the song. Let's play it. If I don't drink, I 
I don't trust you And if I don't think I don't need to And if I don't lie about living And if I don't die over the If I don't say it then I'm sorry When asked if I knew I said hardly Offshore, out in the sound, your island getaway awaits. With so much to do and see, a block island getaway is now closer than ever. Where an island escape is yours at goblockisland.com. So literally, we're changing deeds. You're using your house at an agreed upon number towards a down payment for the purchase here. It couldn't be much easier, really. We believe in the art of handcrafted furniture. Workbench built in the USA to your specifications. The Cloder Farms Keystone Collection. Furniture handmade just for you. And see what we're building for you. Elizabeth, hi. I love your blue hair. Uh, how do you get it to be like that? I dye it. You kill it? No. That's great. So, uh, how long have you been uh, painting like this? Um, live or ever? Ow. Little column A, little column B. 
I've been painting live for about two years. I've been painting forever, forever. <laughs> Fascinating. <laughs> now, uh, I've heard some people say that you uh, think of, you have like a back catalog you keep of ideas for paintings and stuff. You've heard people say I that? I hear some people say that you do it just in the moment. I hear some people say that you decide after you finish the painting. Uh, how do you pick out what exactly you do and how you're going to do each painting? I do it after I finish. You finish the painting. You <laughs> You finish the idea after you finish the painting? Yeah. Or you start the, okay, I get exactly what you mean. Um, now, Eric <laughs> Stevenson is quite the kidder. <laughs> uh, what's it like being married to a guy like that? <clears throat> uh, can be a little embarrassing, I guess. Great. How's his kisses? <laughs> They're all right. All right, we're going to go back <laughs> to pocket final now. Thank you very much. Uh, my name is Peter from The Day, and we'll get back to pocket final's main set. All right, thanks, Peter. Uh, Elizabeth, are you ready to go? Okay, this next song is called Save Your Dream. Savior as in, um, like, Jesus Christ a savior, not, uh, like, save your dream, like in a, a, a coin purse or, you know, not anything like that. <clears throat> Once I was a savior in the I challenged evil to a fight Watching there were masks on the side We all made the paper reunite A group of children entered from the right Circling around somebody's life I woke from this dream as I cried They were in the wrong hands this time Forming below me, the sky wants to show me what they've missed It can't deceive you, but it sure does leave you wrapped in bliss Though it's all frightening, existing with lightning, I clench my hands I must pull the lever, the more lost the better, a reason to stand solo. Forming below me, the sky wants to show me. Forming below me, the sky wants to show me what they've missed. It can't deceive you, but sure does leave you wrapped in bliss. Though it's all frightening, existing with lightning, I clutch my hands. I must pull the lever, the more lost the better, a reason to stand.
it's pretty clear that um, we had something to offer that other listings, other agents' listings did not have to offer. We offered them the opportunity to um, sell their home, get their home sold in a very slow, tough market. Come to Cloder Farms. Lose yourself in the possibilities for your home, yard, heart, and soul. Come to Cloder Farms. And see what we're building for you. Offshore, out in the sound, your island getaway awaits. Yes, Block Island beckons. With so much to do and see, a Block Island getaway is now closer than ever. Ride the high-speed Block Island Express from New London on one of four daily departures. Where an island escape is yours at GoBlockIsland.com. That's GoBlockIsland.com. All right, we're back here at Live Lunch Break on theday.com with Eric and Elizabeth from Pocket Vinyl. Um, and I, I just got a really weird text um, saying that, complimenting me on my piano skills, but telling me what a terrible interviewer I was. <laughs> um, so I, I guess I'll have to work on that. I, you should lose that guy's number, whoever he is. <laughs> um, it's a mean so person. <laughs> so one of the things that I, um, I'm interested in is sort of the the interplay and relationship between the visual side and the musical side. I mean, if there is any. So, like, I know you said um, that that when you come and start painting, that it's it's just spontaneous. Yeah. Are you inspired at all by the music when you're painting? Um, my typical answer is no. Um, but the more I think about it, the more I think I would be inspired by living in a household that has another creative person constantly like while I'm painting at home he's practicing on the piano and singing and looking up stuff and I think just that creative aspect of living life inspires my on stage work okay so not particularly from the songs in the moment but from our relationship our relationship and living and that so then back to you yeah when you're writing a song like have you ever looked at the visual work she's done and how that inspires something in the songs that you write? Um, I actually was thinking recently, I have a few new songs. We had a, Our last album was called Monsters Talking, um, and I kind of had a theme of, of that sometimes she like has these certain types of monsters that come on, and, I, and my tattoos actually have, th um, these are type of, here, I don't <laughs> know if you can see this, but this one I got into a, oh, doesn't matter. <laughs> Tell them this one I got. No you can, you can. Okay. <laughs> it's good. <laughs> and then I got this one was actually from a painting. And so, uh, um, yeah, but I, song, I, uh, sometimes I've noticed that uh, some of the similar subject matter that she, like, kind of comes through subtly in the lyrics, too. Like, uh, going back to the monsters thing, there's a few new songs that I kind of have to deal with. I just say the word monsters in them and stuff, and I didn't really realize that until I was looking through my lyric book recently. So, yeah, in, in a way, it kind of does. And cool. I actually feel like, um, like we have one song, it's, it'll be the last song we play today called I Hear Colors, and it's sort of about how sometimes you hear music or, or something and you like, it like triggers a certain, you know what I mean? Like sometimes when it... A, synesthesia. Yeah, synesthesia, it's like when you hear something and it triggers like another sense and like, Sometimes it means like you see like green or, or you just like think green or it sounds green, if that makes any sense at all. It does. No, it, it totally yeah. does. Um, so I've listened to a lot of you guys' music, and I haven't. this is the first time I've got to see you guys live, but in, in, in looking through your back catalog of paintings, like one of the first things I thought was like, oh, like you guys should do a children's book. And guess what? You actually have done that. Yeah. Um, done five, six? A lot. Yeah. <laughs> and so, I mean, tell me about those. What are what are some of the titles that, that you've done? Um, well, <laughs> to to not get into it too much, um, I grew up on a native reservation in Canada, and my dad up there, his job is a linguist, and my mom works in the school creating curriculum for this language. And when I was going to college and studying art and stuff, they kind of figured, why not use our daughter to help out our projects? and I started doing um, children's books for the community. And so that's like most of our books are based on the community that I grew up in where it's like 
things that are particular to this one reservation where I grew up in order to help out the language. And from there, I mean, I've gotten a couple other kids' books. Nothing like really big yet. I want to do like a something that can be like published and in, in stores all over, but right now it's kind of small. Um, so I know right now if people um, go to your website, they can buy the buy the latest album and get mm -hmm. a download of one of the children's books. Where else can people get those? Through your website? Um, yeah, we have everything on Lulu, which is the self-publishing. It's connected with our, if you go to like the store on our website or something, you can, yeah. you can find yourself there. And they come in, they have the Nascopy language on them, which she was talking about, and English too, so. Yeah. <laughs> and so those. Speak either language. <laughs> and so sort of unlike, whereas the painting is kind of your thing and the music is kind of your thing, those books are actually a collaboration, right? That you guys have yeah, done he's, together. Yeah, he's done some of the, the writings for some of the books. So, yeah. We did this one. It was a, she, she came up with the concept of counting caribou, and I wrote like a Dr. Susie rhyme to it, which I'm fairly proud of. Cool. It's called One Hungry Caribou. Um, and <laughs> so people can find that on pocketvinyl.com? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, we yeah. Have From there, you can get tabs and stuff. You find all that stuff. Okay, cool. Um, so as a reminder to everybody who's watching us live right now, if you're interested in buying Elizabeth's painting that she's working on right now, um, we're doing it by silent auction, which is what they do at all their shows. So you can send in a bid through the chat button on our video player, or you can also send me an email at livemusicattheday.com. Got some bidders. And we do actually have s some bids. Oh, really? $60. Nice. Oh, it's at $60 right now. Nice. <laughs> Thank you, anonymous bidder. Um, so you guys have got <laughs> two more songs for us? Yes. And um, then we will uh, be back to talk quickly at, at the end. But, okay, uh, great. Take it away. Okay, right. cool. Um, I'll, I just want to say one more thing before we start. Uh, <laughs> kind of a public service announcement. We have a cat that needs a home, and if uh, he's about six years old, he's really fluffy. His name is Harvey. We love him so much. If you go to our Facebook page, you can see pictures of him, and we just we need to find him a home. So if you are a cat-loving person, email us or something. Um, he's so cute. He's so cute. The song is called I'm Not Japan. <laughs> The window is etching back, making ugly sounds. The keys in my saddlebags are moving around. The doors are all locked from above, and they won't let me see the face of who I'm thinking of. Oh, the food's not the best here. No, I don't find it kind. I've got the wrong ears and the wrong eyes. The reason I want to believe is I saw so much of something I didn't know I'd love to see. Have you always been this soft? To where you cannot help but love Oh, you're forming some rift Or some spiritual gift You cannot but turn your heart off uh!
walk 20 minutes to my little room. Violins of the crickets, they're starting to tune. It's not time now when I get home, but the morning lights probably peeking through your song here it's called I hear colors um, again paintings for sale uh, good job Elizabeth I really like it <laughs> okay <sighs> the song is about synesthesia is blue ah. I listen to the colors run I hear dies rather than diction colors that drip right off this tune that song is pink this song is blue ah. that song is blue This tune, a song is pink, this song is blue. Ah, 
that song is blue. So Eric, I'd like to ask you if you want to come back and be as our house band just so we can have the applause <laughs> sound effect. <laughs> totally. <laughs> that sounds like a, a bubbling brook. I was, like, was <laughs> going to go more like ocean waves or something. But <laughs> yeah, that's I think it's like those bamboo rain sticks. <laughs> it's pleasant no matter what. <laughs> it's it's uh, thankfully it's the second most used <laughs> thing other than our uh, other than the piano sound. Um, so. Thanks a lot, guys, for joining us. Yeah. Um, I'm going to let Alex back behind the computer sort out the uh, bidding war on the painting. So if you got about 30 seconds if you want to chime in. And Is then, it still uh, at 60? The last bid I saw was 100. Nice. Wow. Um, Thank you. Generous bidders. <laughs> <coughs> Where can we see you live in the near future? Oh, uh, we are playing, if you're in New London or southern southeastern Connecticut, um, we're playing... In uh, uh, at Bank Street Cafe at around 10 or 10:30 uh, tomorrow night, Friday night. Um, if you're planning on going to the big Quiet Life Grave Robbers show that's at the Hygienic, we start like soon after that or, or after that's that's wrapping up or something. So you can go to both. Cool. And so you can <laughs> check these guys out at PocketVinyl.com. Um, I want to say thank you to our sponsors: New London Harbor Towers, Block Island Express, The Guard, and Cloder Farms. Um, and join us next week when we have Steve Cleary in studio with us. So nice. thanks a lot, everybody. Thank you very much.